Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss about expansion in liquids. Okay, before that, let us observe a clinical thermometer that we use at home. Okay, and see what happens over there. Okay, students, generally we have a clinical thermometer at home. What is the use of it? See, sometimes we suffer from fever. That means our body temperature increases. To measure the temperature of the body, we need a device that is nothing but the clinical thermometer. Okay, so let's have a close look at the clinical thermometer. One end, there is a bulb, okay, and this is filled with mercury, okay. The other end is sealed after taking out air from it. And you can see that you can have your own thermometer in your hand if you wish that you can see that there are some markings on it. These markings help us to know about our body temperature. You need to remember that not only the clinical thermometer but all other thermometers also they work on the principle that matter expand on heating. Okay, so let us now discuss how expansion happens in case of liquids. Okay, in our day to day life we have observed it many times. Where whenever we put some water in a bowl to boil, what we do? We lit the fire on the gas stove and we put the container containing water on the gas stove. If we have a closer look inside the water after some time, we can observe that after absorbing the heat energy from fire, water bubbles are generated inside the water and after some time the steam is formed. Okay, why does it happen actually? Because when water absorbs heat energy, the state change happens from liquid to gas. That means the volume of water now increases. Why does it increase? Because water converts itself into steam, thereby expanding its volume. So it shows that whenever we heat water, it expands. Same way, the liquids expands when they absorb heat energy or we can see that Heat energy helps liquids to expand. Okay, as we have discussed about the thermometer, mercury is used in thermometer and it rises its level to give us the temperature. Why does it rise? Because it is also liquid and whenever it absorbs the heat energy of the body, it expands up to a certain level which gives us the temperature of our body. You can also try this at home by taking water in different containers having different level of hotness. When you put the thermometer in those bowls, you will see that the level of mercury in that thermometer is different for each bowl because water in each bowl has different level of hotness. Okay, other than mercury, alcohol is also used in a thermometer. So let us now discuss the properties of mercury and alcohol. Okay, students, properties of mercury. Its expansion is uniform. For equal amounts of heat, it expands by equal lengths. It is opaque and shiny. It does not stick to the sides of the glass tube. It is good conductor of heat. It is easily available in pure state. Okay. Properties of alcohol. It can record very low temperatures. Its expansion per degree Celsius rise in temperature is very large. It can be colored brightly and hence is easily visible. Okay. So students, as mercury has this kind of properties that it expands uniformly and it is shining and it is not sticky because see the thermometers are made of glass. So if something sticks onto it, it can't expand properly. So it doesn't stick onto glass. That's why mercury is preferred in thermometer because it expands uniformly. It doesn't stick into the glass and it's another property, it shines. So we can read the temperature clearly. Okay, that is why mercury is preferred in thermometers. Okay, and when we think about alcohol, it can record very low temperatures. Okay. That is why it is also used in thermometers so that we can record very low temperatures. Okay, students, let us now discuss how to use a thermometer. Okay, see, 
आज हम हम डिस्कस दैट इन थर्मोमीटर मर्क्यूरी इज यूज्ड एंड दिस इज अ क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर एंड दिस बॉल कंटेंट्स मर्क्यूरी टू मेजर द टेम्परेचर फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी नीड टू मेजर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ आवर पाम एज यू कैन सी द मर्क्यूरी हैज नॉट एक्सपैंडेड टिल नाउ बिकॉज वी आर नॉट मेजरिंग एनी टेम्परेचर सो इट इज इनसाइड द बॉल सो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू पुट द बॉल इन द पाम एंड वी नीड टू होल्ड इट फॉर at least 2 minutes when the bulb absorbs the heat energy of the palm mercury starts expanding and after certain time it stops expanding that means it has gained the temperature of the body and it has expanded as per the hotness of our body okay so after 2 minutes you need to see the scale again and you need to find the end point of the expansion of the mercury to know the temperature of your pan okay in that way you can measure the temperature of anything just like in the same way you can also measure the temperature of level of water contained in different containers okay you just need to put the bulb inside water of different containers you can have the measurement of the temperature what happens if the scale of the thermometer wipes out not to worry we can make the scale ourselves how see we need to put the bulb of the mercury in ice so you need to take some ice in any container and put the bulb of the thermometer in ice okay you can clearly observe that mercury doesn't expand so at that particular moment you mark the level of mercury as 0 degree centigrade now what you need to do you need to take out the thermometer and put it in water fine then what you need to do you need to start boiling the water okay so when we apply heat energy water starts boiling and you can see the expansion of mercury when we apply heat energy to water but when the steam form that mean water changes from liquid state to gaseous state you can observe that the expansion of mercury stops okay at that particular time you just mark the level of mercury as 100 degree celsius but why remember that at constant temperature constant temperature ice melts at 0 degree celsius that is why it is called the melting point melting point of ice in the same way water boils at 100 degree celsius so it is called the boiling point of water fine boiling point boiling point of water in the same way every pure substance has its boiling point and melting point that is why using this concept you can have your starting and ending point of the scale as you have marked the 0 degree and 100 degree of the scale now what can you do you can divide the scale into 100 parts that means if you divide suppose this these are 100 obviously these are not 100 parts but suppose these are 100 parts okay so what does it do now it divides the total scale into 100 parts that means each part is now of 1 degree celsius when we divide 100 degree divided by 100 so what happens each part is now of 1 degree now if we divide each part into 10 equal parts that means 1 degree divided by 10 we get 0.1 degree celsius so now we can have 10 parts within this 100 parts like that okay so when we do that each part now is the smallest part of the scale gives us 0.1 degree celsius of temperature so in this way we can create our own scale and put it on to the thermometer if the scale of the thermometer is wiped out okay students today we have discussed about expansion of liquids due to heat energy okay and we have also discussed the basic working principle of a thermometer we will discuss some more concepts in another class till then keep practicing keep revising and most importantly keep smiling